everyone, it's Daisy here. Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Zelda Triforce Centangle art. So what we will need is a picture frame, fine tip pens of different sizes, a pencil, metallic pens, I use the sharpie ones, a ruler, which is very important, thick paper, and masking tape. The first thing you want to do is grab your masking tape and your cardstock or thick paper and tape the piece of paper down to a desk. You don't want this to be moving at all. The next step is to create a triangle and I just freehanded this. It's pretty easy to freehand so I did about 15 centimeters I think on all sides and then I measured up the center, cut it in half and then kind of made my little triforce thingy majiggy here. So that's how I did it. And then once I penciled that out, I started with my fine tip pen and made some Zentangle art. So here you can be super, super creative. Just let your mind be free. I recommend maybe putting on Netflix or watching some sort of movie or TV show. Have something else going because this process takes a very long time and you're going to be sitting here doing it for ages. So I took about maybe three hours in total to do this. Um, if you want to be more detailed, I mean it will take more hours. If you want to add color, feel free to do so. But I decided to go with just simple black and white so I can create the Triforce in gold later on. So. I'm just going about my business making this. Pretty sure I put Netflix on at this stage and just was watching, I think it was American Summer Camp or whatever that crazy show is with all those celebrities and they're pretending to be high school or teenage students, teenage kids and it's hilarious. Definitely check it out if you really are into weird comedy, like it is high on the weird scale. So yeah, I'm still zentangling. I kind of just went with what was in my mind. I mean, if you look online and look on Google, there's a lot of different sort of zentangle patterns that you can do. So you can look on Google and kind of get inspired by it and, you know, copy that or do your own, but just go crazy. I did a lot of flowers, I realized, but I like flowers, so I did a lot of those and tried to kind of give the black and white heaps of contrast so colored in a few areas while leaving some areas white so yeah we're nearly finished now with the whole zentangle it took forever but i think it is well worth it in the end i mean this sort of piece yeah it takes time but you know you're gonna amaze people anyone can zentangle you don't have to be an artist whatsoever so now i am just outlining the Triforce with the gold metallic sharpie pen and then once it's outlined I start filling it in and yeah that is pretty much it for this part just fill it in make sure you don't leave any white sections on the triangles whatsoever and the cool thing about using a metallic sharpie is that it just makes it look metallic and like metal looking it just looks amazing once you put it in the picture frame so I'm using gold here because the Triforce is gold but you can use different colors I do have a whole bunch of different metallic colors but I used gold um, the silver yeah just use whatever you want last but not least we're gonna put this awesome Zentangle picture into a picture frame so I picked up this picture frame from a discount store and they were super cheap probably about 10 bucks okay maybe not that cheap but you know I wanted this particular design because it has the white rim around the outside of the picture and I like that in um, my art or displaying art because it kind of brings out the art more even though it is in a picture frame so I'm using a little bit of masking tape to hold down the picture because I realized when I put my little picture in it wasn't big enough and then I put the backing on and then it is done I hope you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel to see 